Shut up and sit down. Yo, hello and welcome to another North Wales side by side video. Again from the GR Sport. I'm going to show you the uh, the operation of two functions today on the car. The speed limiter, which allows you to set a maximum speed for the car, and the cruise control. First, I'm just going to run through the speed limiter. It's activated, as is the cruise control, on this rocker switch. To arm the speed limiter, you push down on this rocker switch and it turns a symbol on on the dashboard the green one you can see there just above the 40 mile an hour speed limit um, road sign recognition uh, symbol so it's telling me I'm in a 40 zone and I've turned the speed limiter on by rocking the switch down now, to set your speed limiter, now you've turned the system on, you need to come to the rocker switch here. And you need to flick it down. On the dashboard now it comes up with the word limit and it defaults to 20 miles an hour. From here, you can set the maximum speed you want the car to do. And to do that, you use this rocker switch. If you flick it up, like I'm flicking it up now, it takes your maximum speed up one mile an hour at a time. And you can now set that speed limiter to the maximum of speed allowed on that road. The car will not allow you to exceed that speed limit now. However hard you try, however hard you push the throttle, it will do 40 miles an hour now, and that's all it will do. Well, let's do an example of the speed limiter in operation. So I'm going to arm the system by pushing down on the speed limiter button. I'm then going to pull down on the rocker switch. Like I said, it defaults to 20 miles an hour. I'm going to push the rocker switch up in one mile an hour increments. And I'm going to set the speed limiter to 38 miles an hour, even though I'm in a 40 zone. I'm going to wait for the car to go past that's just pulled out of the junction. Let's go. Nothing coming behind me. I'm going to accelerate as hard as I can now. And that's it. I've got my foot buried in the carpet. And the car will not go any faster than 38 miles an hour. If I go up on the rocker switch, one, two... That'll take me to my maximum speed on this road of 40 miles an hour. I've still got my foot buried in the carpet and it refuses to go any faster. That's the speed limiter in operation. I'm coming up to a 30 zone now. I'm going to bring the speed limiter down to 30. We're set at 30 now. I can bury my foot in the carpet. It won't go any faster. I'm going to climb this. Take this next junction and go up the hill. We're all in 30 zone now. 
So I'm going to nail the full throttle to the floor. Car will accelerate. I've still got my foot buried to the floor. Speed limiter will not allow me to go any faster than what I've set it. That's how the speed limiter works. Now, cruise control next. To arm the cruise control system, it's again on this button. But instead of pushing it down, you push it up and we'll go onto the dashboard and it goes radar cruise active. Please pay attention to other vehicles. That's what it does when you arm the system. There's two ways now to control the speed that you want to run at. If I accelerated away now and I accelerated up to 40 miles an hour on the throttle, what I would then do once I've got to the speed I want to sit at, I'd come back to this button pull it down once and that will set the speed for the cruise control again once you're moving and you want to change the speed of your cruise control if you want to go up in speed you push that button up if you want to slow down, you come down. Imagine you've set your cruise to 40 miles an hour, you're in the 40 zone. And you're coming into a 30. The way I use my cruise control is I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That'll bring it back down to 30 now. So as you're entering your 30 zone, I start bringing my speed down on the cruise control. And I just do it with my thumb as I'm driving. So the car will come into the 30 zone, cruise control set, and you'll go through the uh, 30 zone at 30. When you come out the other side, speed limit's going to increase. You can either accelerate back up to the speed that you want to go to using the throttle, and then resetting it by flicking it down again or you can use the rocker switch and go up in one mile an hour increments which is the way I prefer to do it No, I shouldn't do this. I'm driving with one hand, but I'm trying to hold the camera to show you how radar works on the motorway. You can probably see on the dash it says radar ready. I'm going to join the motorway. This is a 50 zone. So I've set radar cruise now at 50 miles an hour and the car has tagged onto the car in front of me it's keeping a nice distance between me and that car that one in front of me it'll hold this distance My feet aren't on the pedals, radar cruise is controlling the speed of the car, controlling the distance. I'm about to come into a 70 zone, so I'm now going to go and set the radar cruise to 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's set it to 60 miles an hour. Radar Cruise is now set to 70. 
as you can see the traffic's sped up in front of me the car has kept its distance and we're, we're cruising along at 57 miles an hour even though the cruise is set at 70 because it's in a very clever cruise control system and it will only go as fast as the cars are going in front of you I'm going to come off at the next junction so to turn the cruise off you use the same button that you turn the you activated the cruise control system with and just push it up cruise controls now have been turned off I'm back to controlling the speed with my throttle but I'm coming off at this junction There's one more function that the radar cruise can set and that is the gap between you and the car you're following and it always defaults let's have a look on the dashboard here it always defaults to three bars that's your maximum distance between you and the car in front you can decrease it down to two bars or one bar if you're feeling like you want to do a full-on Audi and follow somebody as close as you can possibly get. But to change the distance, you come to this button here. And if you push that button, as you can see there, we're on three bars whilst that's lit up two bars one bar that's as close as the car's going to let you get that's how you set the distance between you and the car that you're following radar crews will keep that gap always keep that gap one problem you'll find with that if you've got it on maximum gap and you're on a motorway it sets a gap that's big enough for another car to fit into and sometimes you'll find somebody filling your your gap and it can be quite annoying when you know you've got a nice safety margin between you and the car in front and somebody fills the gap sometimes you do have to decrease your distance so they can't do it but it's just the way people drive some people can be very inconsiderate and they don't realise that's the safety gap you want, but they want to take it anyhow. Hey, once again, I hope you like this type of video. Please click like if you like these videos. Please consider subscribing. It helps a lot with the costs of making these videos.